And so they go back and scrummage at the middle. So. And already the Frenchmen are running away, but David Burnett, they're going to score a try. Berbizi has gone to score. They've accepted the line out. They took a quick throw in. Dubroca gave it to Berbizi. And can you imagine a more dramatic opening to an international than that? Everybody waiting for a scrummage at the middle, but the French hadn't accepted it. They accepted the kick as they're allowed to do. And the goal kicker, Guy Laporte, who has played six internationals and scored 41 points, and that was back in 81. Laporte hooking it. Charged by John Jeffrey, but the charge has been disallowed and he'll be given a second shot at it. Well, drama upon drama. Have you ever seen an opening like this, I, Bill? I, I've never seen a start to a game like this at all, Bill, and uh, the next 80 minutes are going to be as, as exciting that I think we're going to be worn out by the time that uh, full time comes. Charge disallowed, Laporte, oh, that looks better. Well, you could see the effect of the, of the wind, it's very strong there, and that ball was going into the middle, but it was whipped across that... Well, you see, all the Scots have got the, tur the backs turned there, and the very quick throw in, in, in the bottom of the screen. And as I say, that once the player had been allowed to go, it was really a formality for Berbizier to score, because as you can see, there's three or four Frenchmen there, and not a Scotsman inside. Well, the Scots will want to hold this square. David Soule trying to hold it up so that Deans can get a good look. Laidlaw, Rutherford, the drop goal, hooked. Anguish written all over the Selkirk stand. Laporte's kick. Rutherford again, hoisted. Up comes Roger Baird on Lafong. He's got him on the 22. Blanco couldn't hold it. The Scots tearing in there. What a drive by the forwards. And the French have been penalised for going over and filling it. The ball still fairly dry, and the pitch at that part firm enough. He's just got to relax and concentrate. He'll step back, plonk, no bother. Gavin Hastings' first point for Scotland, and they've cut the deficit to four points to three. They've played for an advantage of about half a stone a man. Oh, that was a quick heel. Penalty against Berbizier, playing the man before he had the ball. And uh, Roy Laidlaw was pointing the error of his ways. Pierre Berbizier in his 16th international. Anyway, it's Gavin Hastings. There's the shot from the terracing behind the posts. High enough. All the way. Scotland in the lead. Gia throws again. Campbell goes nicely out to Rutherford using the blind on the left foot. Blanco. Penalty for offside. Blanco is down injured. Dubraca, the captain, is asking what the uh, penalty is for and Blanco is down. This is Rutherford cutting back onto the narrow side. Now there's the kick. Blanco got across well. He seemed almost to nudge it. And then boom, and Campbell Amerton put the shoulder in. And that was late and has properly been punished. The crowd thought that uh, there was a bit of a tactical injury about it, but he certainly was not late. It gives Laporte the chance to put France once more into the lead. Once again, one or two silly whistles which spoil the whole atmosphere, really. Laporte, straighter this time, is it? Yes, all the way. throw by Berbizier, he hasn't looked very convincing as a thrower, although he's done it before and once again the Scots won it, Ian Milne sweeping, Laidlaw oh, a hospital ball for Rutherford but the whistle had gone, they were offside and it's a penalty to the Scots John Jeffrey, the Kelso flanker busying about there the French backs encroaching in the offside area 
So is it to be uh, number three for Gavin Hastings? The shot from the terracing behind the posts. Oh, he's stroking them off the post that time. David Johnson in for the catch. For a bit of rough stuff in that front row. And Dubroca being ticked off. Now, it may not, may not have been the culprit. He's the captain. And David Burnett, who has already sent off a player in an international, is saying to him, don't let them bring their knees up or else. Clearly, a knee brought up in the scrummage, and that really is a vicious thing to do. Well, I think that... oh, Gavin Hastings, for his own good in Scotland, would have to kick this one, and he has. Nice uh, lift to his step as he goes back down the field. Colin Deans, his captain, is delighted as well. Deans using the tail. Finlay Calder. Campbell Lamerton has it. Laidlaw sniping. The feed on to Finlay Calder. Down goes Alistair Campbell. Just inside French territory. The Scots trying to roll. Jeffrey goes. Tackled there by Joanel. Penalty for killing it. French over the top. And it's good to see uh, Dave Burnett being so strict on that type of uh, illegal interference with the clearance. Yeah, over the top. You know that, don't you? He says. In French, of course. Well, this would cause them some anxiety if Gavin Hastings can kick this one. Again, a very good thump. A superb kick. The flags wave. Everybody's roaring in Scotland are five stings. Yes, he was calm and cool. He didn't rush it. Now he's got 15 stones charging up there. And he's there. Finley Calder as well. Hastings kicks on. But there was a wee bit of obstruction. But uh, he scored a superb try in the Scottish trial doing that. The French quickly taking it. Dubroca with the drive. Berbizier. This is uh, Erbani driving on. Back inside to the forwards. Gratong almost got it. Now it's fed back from Garraway. Along the line to Laporte. Oh, lovely break here. Sella. Estev. What a tackle by Matt Duncan. Down goes Laidlaw. John Beatty marking Joanel. That's Dubroca feeding on to Joanel. Joanel feeding back to Berbizier. Laporte the drop goal surely. Is it just past? Oh, it's in a beauty. Guy Laporte puts over his sixth drop goal for France. And they've cut the leeway to 12 points to 10. And you see the drive there by Joanel. Lovely pass back to Berbizier. And because they've sucked all the, the Scottish defence in, he's got all the time in the world to slot that one out. The game closely poised now as Campbell Lamerton goes up, but the Scots are penalised. And Colin Deans is hurt. David Burnett has given a penalty to the Scots, I think. He's brought it out. It, there may have been something said. Well, the last thing that Colin Deans will want to do is go off the field sort of in his first game as captain. But as we see, the de referee David Burnett is, is well positioned there. He's on the French side. He's expecting them to win the ball. And I think there's a penalty there against... It's actually against Colin Deans, and it was for a shoulder charge by De Broca. He certainly uh, he took the law into his own hand. A stupid decision there because they'd already won the penalty for Colin Deans being offside, and he come and just took him, and just take took Colin Deans out there, and it's perfectly unnecessary. And uh, it'll be right if he's sort of penalised an extra three points. Deans would stretch it to five. It's all a question of staying cool, trying to ease the nerves. From the terracing, Gavin Hastings. The crowd will tell you. Five penalty goals for the Watsonians and Cambridge University. Berbizier, Laporte, along the line, Shadebeck. This is Blanco. Blanco, the dummy, going for the line. A beautiful try. It's given. And it's Sella, number 13, the scorer. His eighth try for France, and there's only one point in it. 
Well, Dave Burnett here was going to give a penalty for the Scots backs offside, but really, Roger Bird's in an awful position there because he's faced by two men, and Blanco there you know, goes to it. And what a super pickup there by Seller. Trying to steady himself to cut the crowd noise out from his mind and ear. Laporte may not have the legs, and so the Scots stay in the lead. But there you got an example of just what the French can achieve. The forwards have done it first. Lovely handling there. Shadebeck out. Now, Blanco had still an awful lot to do, but a couple of dummies took him to in the danger area. And did you see that catch by Seller? Damage here, but the French got the squeeze on. And again, if the scrummage collapses, the referee has to blow and bring him up again. Erbany questioning. Scotland are also slightly weakened in that last one because John Beattie had moved his position onto the uh, onto the flank. I think he might be better sticking as he is now. No, he's still on the flank position, and that certainly makes it very uneven on the tight head side for Scotland. Yes, there's obviously a ploy on here. Now, it might be for John Beattie to pick up and give it to Finlay Calder going round from this side, we'll see. But you can see Beattie isn't putting any power in at all. Oh, he held it and gave it to Laidlaw. Laidlaw on the run. No way through, but the French were offside and it's a penalty. Grat on the man in with a tackle on Little Laidlaw here and his border colleague from Kelso, John Jeffrey, is the man checking if he's OK. Bosch of South Africa, Porta, Aguirre, Evans, Oli Campbell and Crowley of New Zealand have all kicked six penalty goals in an international and Gavin Hastings has done the same. 18 points to 14, Scotland lead. They've played 20 minutes. French that penalty boys. Berbizi but he goes to Laporte. He made for the drop, goes to Shadebeck. Blanco, Esteb, great tackle by Duncan. And Esteb will be penalised. You have to release or play the ball in the tackle immediately, and he did neither. He held back, Jeffrey contests. Berbizi, Laporte, switch to Seller. Seller caught by Rutherford, did well to stay in his feet. Berbizier once again, Laporte back inside to Irvani. The drive on, look at that great blue cloud. Laidlaw couldn't hold it, Berbizier through, the feet out there and the knock on. Lafong was the man to whom the ball went last of all. Great drive by Erbani here. He laid it back beautifully. Laidlaw was engulfed here and then Berbizier getting the ricochet and Laporte got a hand to it. And, and there this formidable eight in front of him. But Campbell Lamerton got it. Laidlaw beautifully out to Rutherford. That's David Johnston. Johnston trying to slice through. John Beatty out to Jeffrey. Great tackling by the Frenchman. Soul in there. And it's a penalty for going over on the wrong side. As David Soule, who's a remarkably mobile prop forward, got across there very with the chance to cut it again to one point in Scotland's favour. A little chip shot that time. It's through. 18 points to 17. Stadlaw to Rutherford. Finley Calder goes. Trumpf. Shuddering tackle there by Erbani. Laidlaw. Scott Hastings. Could have been a bit further forward, but he got up to take it. Penalty for going over the top. And is this going to be the kick that will win the match for, for Gavin Hastings? If he slots this, he'll be the only fella to have kicked seven penalty goals in a major international. Hastings then, oh, he's pushed it. Well, you can imagine his feet. BT to Laidlaw. Laidlaw into space. Back goes Juanel. Up goes Duncan. And BT and Laidlaw have worked well in tandem off the scrimmage. John BT, one of the artists in clearing scrimmage ball as a number eight forward. And the work.
word goes along the Scottish line as to what they expect. Deans with the throw, trying to use Beatish. Wanell got in in front of him, but John Jeffrey rescued it, but the Scots are penalised. There have been a bit of illegal pushing, and uh, yes, they're bound to go to keep the ball in play. Laporte with the Gary Owen. Scott Hastings up, a great catch by the youngster. Fell cleverly as well. Laidlaw, Rutherford. Rutherford again prodding it through. Murrayfield are up. The whistle goes and the Scots have done it. The scenes here almost unprecedented. The relief you can feel all the way around. The intense disappointment for the Frenchman. The Scots winning by 18 points to 17. Six penalty goals. The French will be annoyed that they score two tries to none. But Colin Dean's there, the proudest man, I'm sure, in Scottish rugby.